I grew up loving like you know Godfather and namesake and uh, wedding banquet um, and uh, Mississippi Masala. Uh, I and Joy Luck Club was like a really big one for me when I was in college. It, that was the first one I had seen that was intergenerational and focusing on women. Um, I related to it, but I didn't feel like there was anything about our culture from the Middle East and anything about people who were Muslim in a way that wasn't like vilified. So. I wanted to make something that was filled with joy and fun that really represented our community. So I just wrote about my family. What's funnier than your own family? <laughs> you know, as long as they don't hate me, I'll let you know tomorrow. By the after party. No, we just finished the film on Sunday. So um, then we haven't seen it. No, they haven't, no, we seen, haven't it seen it yet. So. But my family, my mom came, my brothers are here. I have seven brothers. Uh, most of them made it. Uh, so there's a whole like Persian mafia here. So I'm terrified of them. I don't care about the reviews, just you know, that the mafia I'm more afraid of. I, I might be disappearing after tomorrow. So let me, I'll let you know. She went dark. Yes. Um, and for you guys, um, sort of favorite immigrant stories? Yeah, honestly, um, I haven't read or seen anything like this is by far my favorite. It's a story about family. It's a story about someone who feels like they don't belong in either places that they're from. And it's so deeply personal to Miriam. And it just, honestly, being able to just have a part in it, it just feels so special to be able to tell her story. And it's incredible. I think people don't realize that coming to this country, no matter where you're from, it's it's hard. And in the industry, there's not enough representation. And people don't get to see the authentic storytelling of Iranian Americans without you know us being the bad guys. So this is just about a family and the struggles they go through. And it's incredible. And wearing the right outfit at a Halloween party, which is and looking very good, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, I mean, and I just, I love their dynamic on screen. And I think that something that's really special to like dig deep into our own and real into, yeah yeah into the into yeah. both the struggles that we have with our family but also to celebrate them at the same time absolutely but you came to America when and you were 14. So I was going to say so I have a similar experience um, we immigrated when I was 11 12 um, and a lot of the same experiences trying to assimilate trying to um, fit in feeling like an outsider and I when I first read the script I remember crying and I remember specifically thinking this is going to be so good there's nothing like this to tell in an Iranian American experience that paints a full picture of who we are and it doesn't have to be perfect it's just you know we're humans <laughs> um, we're very imperfect <laughs> very imperfect in fact you know it's like such complicated family dynamics um, but very relatable uh, themes that I think will resonate with a lot of people and I think that's what's so important and that's what's been missing in Hollywood especially regarding Iranians and Middle Easterners so that's why I'm so grateful for her um, to bring this story to life. And also, you know, Nusha's like a triple threat. When do you ever get to sing, dance, and act? You know, the, the closing song of the film, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, she recorded with our composer, Rostam Bat Mengalish, um, from Vampire Weekend. Well, all out there for this. But it was a great synthesis of East and West, of the Middle East, and American pop culture. Pop culture is a huge influence for me. It's how I learned to be American. It's how I learned to be Iranian. And I think synthesizing these two elements in the film and closing the film with that was really meaningful for me. And, and she, you know, you killed it doing all three. Thank you. Um, so it was fun. Yeah. It was a fun are, you, are you a singer? My great singer? Are you, are you a singer? Oh, I was like, well, I can't say that. She's a great singer. She's an amazing Actually, singer. Actually, I was like, oh, uh, Nisha, I'm looking for an Iranian, an American singer for the end of our film. She's like, Hello, you met me when I was singing at this party. Like, I don't remember you. I was like, that's how you oh, met yes. me. I was playing Daph, which yes. is this Iranian frame drum. That's how we met you. And she's like, oh, you're right. You're right. So I auditioned, and then I listened to the song. It's not my type of song that I sing. I'm like, oh, this is really hard. It's very up tempo. And so I had to audition. <laughs> I said, I know you had a role as a lead, but now, co lead. But now I'm like, you have to audition for. Rosa. We had to audition for the song. Mm -hmm. I had to for the composer. For the very, exactly. Yeah, it's very particular. I mean, it's fair. But luckily, they canceled on me a few times. So it made me like a little more practice more. It was trying reverse so, psychology. Like, yeah, exactly. Kept canceling on her. But it was so her. fun when I got in there and then to hear the Iranian instruments with this very 80s American song that I listened to as well. It was so perfect. And just like to what she said, it really is like that. A lot of us that we have two homes, but there's like 
I, it, it's a really nice mix, and, and I can't wait for people to see this film. And it sounds like the film, I guess, does it feel like presenting a film like this at this moment in time is a political statement, even though it's like the furthest thing from the sort of what you're trying to do, you're making sort of a statement about your family and about right. and making what sounds like a fun film. Um, but like, you like can't help but be making a political statement by making a film about the Iranian women or Iranian American experience Anything about at, Iran this, is at this time. Yes. Like, <laughs> yes. And so what's that feel like and to be sort of, uh, and, and do you sort of embrace it or is it weird or what? I definitely am so proud at this moment with all the young women in Iran like pushing the boundaries. But I think there's a, in my film's about three generations of women starting from Iran coming to, all the way to Layla as an Iranian American. And I think what's happening now speaks to, to the resilience of women that's been going on for decades. And I think we're, the film is just a reflection of the struggle that's been going on for decades, but that now has come to light. And I'm really proud that we can bring it in a very nuanced way, not in a typically political way, but I think it's political to show our voices, to have our voices heard. I think it's political to show nuance, and I think it's political to say we exist and that we are part of American society, part of our, the fabric of the United States. It's funny because I was at a party in Lisbon recently. And like, oh, hi, what's you know? I'm a director. Oh, I'm I'm from Los Angeles, and they were like looked at me perplexed. And yeah, I, mean, I was born in New York. They're like, where are you from? Okay, I'm born in New York, but I live in LA. And they said, oh, really? Okay. I was like, oh, you asked me? Oh, my parents are from Iran. Like, oh, okay, okay. So you're Iranian? And I said, no, I'm the quintessential American. Like, I am Iranian. I'm Iranian-American. America is made up of all of us. And I thought that was so important. Like, we are American at the, at the core. And that means we came from somewhere else. And I, I'm proud to say that also. This is like an American story as much as it is an Iranian story. Absolutely. That's, that's such a classic uh, <laughs> but also, you know, person of color story media. Yeah, party, you know, like, yeah exactly. But really, really, where are you from? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, even but also to have a, you know, a queer, uh, Muslim character. That's also very radical, and to say, and for her not to reject her culture and not to reject where she's from is a radical statement. For her to say that I exist and I'm a full human, uh, you know, that's radical itself. So I think there's a lot of radical elements. Um, but yeah, I'm proud to be part of this, this uh, history, legacy of our mothers and our Absolutely. grandmothers. Yeah. I think there's Three, three films at Sundance that are Iranian films. Uh, Shada, we had earlier, there's a, right. which is an Australian film. Right. Yes. So, so it's also centered on women as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, cool. Anything else that you guys want to make sure you mention that we didn't talk about? I think we covered basics. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I have to say, one thing that was so amazing for me is the casting of this film and is to bring people from our community from all over the world together and all of our experiences and what we shared we were all Iranian from different countries from London from England from France from the United States um, Austria in Turkey Austria Iran even our actress came. And everyone is so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> but our actress came from Iran luckily she got a visa who plays my mother at 14 but I think what we all share is our identity of being from two different places and I think that was such a beautiful thing to know that we're connected not only in the United States but all internationally. And, and to so. and to just think about uh, just to show uh, on this mainstream level this very human story with an Iranian um, family. I mean, I, you would think like it's so simple, but we just don't have that. You know what I mean? Usually, and from my experiences and auditions and everything, it's just when it's about Iran, it's something to do with national security or something. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. But this is like no, it's actually things that happen. These are very regular occurrences and. And um, there are themes that people will connect to and relate to, and we need stories like that. So that's why this is so special. And we need to dance. Special. Hopefully, we'll why not? Exactly, to have fun and dance. Yeah. And this is what we do in our Persian parties. Have you ever been to a Persian yeah. wedding or a Persian <laughs> party? Yeah. So this is like all in there, and it's so. It's so great. we're going to teach you guys at the end of this video the dance from the movie. So oh, we are <laughs> prepared. This is news to me. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if we watch the movie, we'll do it later. There we go. Um, but yes, we hope people will yeah. want to celebrate in that way and dance with yes. us. Yes. Because yes. right. girls just want to have fun. Right. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> We're gonna teach you. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's very important that that we end with that. It really is about women 
demanding to have joy no matter what the circumstances are. The character is an immigrant. The character suffered a lot, you know, before she came to America. Layla, as a next generation, there's always a struggle, but the joy is what binds all of us together. And this, this in a inability to let go of that as a human necessity. So I think it's hard, you know, we have, there's a lot of things going on in the world that makes us pessimistic, but I hope that there's some element that gives us hope. Dance! Dance! Dance. 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 Dance.